Alpha. Welcome to our channel. Hello. This is our Saturday drive. We normally go on Saturday adventures. We do, we do. And today we went and explored one of the islands, part of the island that we haven't seen before. We did. We went across the um, North Island Crossroad. Yeah, and um, then we headed north to up towards the ferry and found some beautiful sights. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, we hope you enjoy the footage. see a few Mormons um, walking along. I'm not sure if they go door to door like they do in Australia, do you think so? Yeah, I think they're on their mission. On the mission, yeah. There's, this is a traditional valet, as you can see it's all open. And look at that view. Look at that view. It's pretty good. Samoa has some of the beautiful environments. Like check out this church, how beautiful is that? And then check out the view from the church. You just see churches like every couple of days, don't you? Yeah, easy. Easy, 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 even closer sometimes. And yeah, they've all got their outstanding features. I think is not Samoa about like a 95% um, Christianity. Yeah, it's huge, it's huge. Sunday is definitely a worship day. And what after lunch? What, what, what do we have for lunch? What's it called? It's putting me on the spot here. And I for, forgive me those Samoans, but I think it's Tuanai. Okay, that sounds about right. Sunday lunch. Um, could be an umu. Could be some chicken. <laughs> so what have we had at Tournai, if that's correct? Oh, uh, you still want to put me... Do you want to know what James's favourite thing at Tournai is? Oh, yeah, go on. It's Pa'a'ia. Pa'a'ia. Oh, my God. Um, fish in coconut cream with some onion. Uh, traditionally in the coconut, half a coconut. Oh my god, it is to die for. Wait a sec, I wanted to talk about this bit. That's yep. the giant clams, remember? Oh, it is those stairs going down to the giant clams. Yeah, so you walk over there, you, I think you have to pay about 10 colour each, and it's a giant clam sanctuary. It's amazing. Yeah, they've got like a net around it, and um, we haven't been back this time, but we went last time, and oh, they talk about giant. They are like, what, a metre? Like, oh, yeah, over a metre. The little ones are about a metre. Yeah, it's like 10 colour, which is like seven Aussie dollars, and it's just amazing. Yeah, we haven't been there yet, but we're definitely going to head down there. I hope we can make a video for that one. Yeah, yeah, we will. We'll definitely get some um, some um, snorkeling video on that. Yeah, definitely. So today we went snorkeling for this video, but unfortunately my GoPro had a flat battery by the time that we reached our snorkeling destination. Yeah, so here we go, a bit of drone footage where we stopped. We stopped um, and just the water was just unbelievable. And we, um, we asked a couple of local kids if we could have a swim. And um, they didn't have a lot of English. So. They didn't have a, long, a lot of English, but we could hear a lot of Yahoo and, and, um, and, and you know, Kuwian from the houses. And I turned the radio on realising that the um, football was on. Samoa was playing in the sevens. Yeah, so like it's football mad at the moment because after Samoa's had some great successes with their league and union teams. So I asked the boys if we could go and have a swim, did a bit of sign language and they, they kind of understood what I was saying and um, they said, yeah, yeah. And I said, look, um, just go and ask mum and dad just in case, you know, we wanted to make sure we weren't, you know, we, we weren't in the wrong and if, yeah. So one of the things you've got to remember about Samoa is the beaches generally aren't public beaches. They're owned by the village or by the family. So, you know, you need to ask permission and sometimes they're the, the, you, you give them a donation. Yeah, certainly. You might pay five colour or something, you know, a couple of bucks Aussie, you know, to swim in that beautiful water. Why wouldn't you? Oh, it was unbelievable. See all that? That's all coral. It was just fantastic. We went all the way out to oh, probably about 20 or 30 metres from the um, from the waves there, right on the reef. It was just, it was stunning. Yeah, we towed Poppy in her little floaty and she had a bit of a snorkel and a bit of a float and really loved it. But it was just like the, the diversity was just amazing. I mean, yeah, it was, I, I think that we'll definitely have to go back there and 
take the GoPro, GoPro snorkeling. And believe it or not, I actually saw another eel there. Yeah. And I've been researching today about eels, and it's, it says it's very uncommon that you will see an eel while you're diving. Well, nearly every time I go diving, I see an eel. <laughs> Apparently they only come out at night, but they're always around when James is around. Yeah, they tell you to, if you see one, to not make any sudden moves. Well, that's difficult to do when they freak you out with their mouth open. <laughs> when its mouth opens wide and there's more jaws inside, that's it's some more. more. <laughs> so hopefully I'm getting better with my drone footage. It is a bit scary to be out over the ocean, um, you know, with your drone, but um, I'm getting a little bit more confident, so hopefully that'll get better for you guys. You can see over behind the shoreline there was a coconut plantation, and I must say we are enjoying some drinking coconuts. No. New, yeah. new uh, drinking coconuts, and they are best when they're cold on ice. Oh, nice and chilled, and really, really good if you're dehydrated. Um, they've got a lot of vitamins and stuff to, you know, assist you when you're dehydrated. Check out that coral. Yeah, well, we didn't see um, until the drone footage to see that channel, which would have been amazing to swim along that channel. So when we go back, we'll um, we'll look for that. Yeah, definitely. We might even send the drone out first so we know where we should be going. Yeah, that's a good idea, for, you know, in the future. The buses in Samoa are so colourful. They're beautiful and there's like, I don't know, there's hundreds of them. Yeah, I don't know what they are, 1950s, 1960s. Um, they're just amazing, all colourful with music blaring away and yeah, they're great. I don't think there's any set timetable and there's no set stops. You just hail them down when they go past. <laughs> there must be some kind of timetable. I mean, people <laughs> seem to know when they're coming. But, but yeah, they'll stop at your house and then they'll stop at your neighbour's house. They stop wherever you want them to stop to pick you up and put you down. So in towards the shoreline here, there was um, a volcanic rock that they'd built into a break wall because, you know, rising sea levels are a huge thing in Samoa. Actually, when I saw this footage, I was really amazed at how much work must have gone into that. Yeah, and, and you know, unfortunately, they need to do it, but um, it's working. It's working. It's saving from erosion, which is fantastic. As you can see from the lack of traffic, this part of um, Samoa um, is just like, so relaxed and pristine and you know, it was just lovely to um, just spend the day there. Uh, it's just, I just can't say enough. Yeah, and yeah, I think that we'll definitely be visiting this part of the island again because, wow. Actually, that, that on the corner there, that house, was where all those kiddies came out and started talking to us when we swam back, remember? They did. They were all keen to say hello to us and practice their English, and they were very interested to see Poppy because I don't think they see many Polungi kids. Yeah, that's right. Poppy was in her floaty. She was snorkeling really, really well here, but we snorkeled for probably two hours, so she got a bit tucked out. Yeah, I must say that I was tired when we came back in. It was, it was yeah, but just... You don't notice when you're out there. You can see the volcanic rock there in the water, but the coral and stuff has started to grow over it. And what did we forget to do, or what did I forget to do? Um, uh, sunscreen? Oh my goodness, no, I don't want to tell them I burnt my bum. Yeah, well, I didn't did sunscreen the back of my legs and the back of my knees were really burnt. So, um, yeah, if you're going to snorkel for two hours, you definitely need to make sure you get that sunscreen on. So, that's the end of our little snorkeling footage and we just wanted to say, like, all the villages are decorated and they tend to, like, do it together. So, you know, all the way along, they're all Synced. Yeah, there's like themes, isn't there? Yeah. Like you've got, you just saw the coconuts, like red, and then you're coming up across another one that's all purple. Or the gardens are all like uniformed and it's amazing. Yeah. What did you think of the trip, Poppy? Did you like it? Yes. Do you remember when we went down snorkeling and went across the river? Yes. Can you tell us one thing about it? Um, we have like, we have so many Good work. Okay, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.